jewel swoosh. I don't know if y'all can really see it. Like, bro, go to the comments right now and comment what you think this is, bro. Another one. Oh, man. I'm big on nine. I'm big on nine. Two. These niggas is not even bulletproof. He say he tough, he gotta prove it. Don't think I'm frightening his music. No capping, yeah, I really do this. Don't let me slide and make the news quick. Fuck it. Word. I'm gonna slide and make the news quick. That's sour. Let me roll. Good, y'all. So we back with another one. Today, I'm gonna be showing y'all my top picks of 2021. I hope y'all enjoyed. I hope y'all had a great year, a great Christmas, a great New Year's. Drop what y'all doing or what y'all did down below. Yeah, so y'all can expect to see some newer sneakers like Dunk, some older sneakers like Jordan 11, some classics, some basketball sneakers, some hype. It's a mixture of both, and I'm I'm really happy with what it came out to be. So let's get right into it. We're gonna start with the Grinch Kobe's. I don't even have to say too much. I swapped out for the red laces, of course. This is a sneaker that I wanted. I traded some stuff for it, and I don't regret it at all. I feel like this sneaker's a must-have in your collection, for sure. And I was able to get them this year, and I'm so happy I did. And I wore them a lot throughout December. I don't know if y'all can tell. It's not too dirty, but and I'm gonna keep wearing it. R.I.P. to Mamba, you heard? Down in the description, I'm gonna link sneakers from StockX and GOAT if y'all wanna go purchase or y'all just wanna go see how it's looking, how the market is for them. I got y'all. All right, so the next sneakers, the Sean Witherspoon Air Max 97, bro. I want. Let me know how y'all feel about this. I'm not too crazy about this, but I had a chance to get it for a steal, a really great deal. I ended up only paying like $400 out of pocket. If you wanna know how, go watch my trade block video. I'll put y'all on to game on how to get your grail shoe. Next shoe. These are the SB Mummies. <laughs> Glows in the dark, the eyes glow in the dark. So Bing bang! So I haven't done it yet. I need like a either to put in the sun or get a UV light. But this is another sneaker I caught for still. I traded some stuff for it and I was able to copy it. And I didn't I feel like I didn't give up too much for them either. So now we got a pair. I know these are dunks because I don't really have no orange box. Oh yeah. These are the medium cutties. Medium cutties, bro. I gotta look at the detail on these. Unfortunately for these, I bought these resale. I do not recommend buying anything resale. Like, it's just not it, bro. Like, it's just not it. I was trying to trade for these, but if you're a sneakerhead, you know certain shoes are either hard or impossible to trade for, or you have to give up, like, more than you'd like. And this is one of those shoes. I ended up buying these from GOAT for, like, 460 And then, of course, a local consignment shop that I go to a lot, Hype 24-7, he got them, like, two weeks after I bought it, and he was selling them for the low. So, you feel me? It's, it's a game, though. You gotta, you win some, you lose some. The next shoe. Oh, the Laser Orange Dunk for Women. Tell me how y'all feel about these some people say they see it like it's more of an orange to them to me it's more of a yellow it is laser orange so i can see how it's not that full yellow but bro these are beautiful as you can see i haven't worn these yet either i don't got nowhere to go <laughs> but these are clean and these are most likely going to stay in my collection because i don't have any yellow shoe i feel like you should have at least one ah on to the next all right go to the comments right now and comment what you think this is bro Ooh. these are the bread 11s and i want to say these are from 2011 bro i love these so much but where i baited i bought these at sneaker con and the only issue with it is is these is it has soul separation you feel me i don't know if y'all can really see that i really need somebody that knows how to fix it so if you know how to fix it you can slide in my dm on ig or you can comment below if you do this um let me just just let me know your price. We can work something out because I really want to wear these, bro. You can see how clean it is. I just really need a soul swap. Boom. Arguably the shoe of the year, the Ama Manier 3s. If you haven't seen my review for these, I'm going to link that down below and drop a card because, bro, this shoe is amazing, bro. Like, I don't know how else to put it. Like, this shoe is just everything. This collab was just a great collab. And I got some drop from boxes recently. That's why these aren't in a box. But, bro, the detail on these is ridiculous, bro. Go watch that review. So I'm telling you. And they're so versatile, bro. Like, you could wear these with everything, bro. Like, you could wear this with so much. Like, you could dress these shits up so nice, bro. So, this is definitely a pop-out shoe. First of all, you should have a pair of Jordan 3s in your collection in, in general. And if you're going to pick one, let this be the one. It is a bit pricey, and it's extremely hard to trade for. I will say that. You'll have to give up more for them. I definitely say it's worth it. That sneaker is beautiful. It's just a statement piece. Work of art. You feel me, bro? Oh, we got another heavy hitter. Another classic, bro. You can see right there. It's say nike zoom all-star 
Kobe Sevens, bro. Oh man, son, y'all gotta, y'all gotta see these, bro. These are beautiful. These I might change the laces. I might bleach the laces. What y'all think? Comment below if you think that'd be fire. I think if I bleach the laces, that'd be fire. Like it'd be like spotty. But anyway, this is the Kobe Seven. These shits is so hard, bro. Like I didn't even expect to be getting these. Luckily, I went to SneakerCon with a few of my mans that I met there. He looked out on these for sure, and he gave me a steal, so I had to grab them. He you know how extremely hard it is to get a pair of Kobe 7 Galaxies in, first of all, dead stock, and then it looks this icy? This shoe came out in 2008. I don't know, I'm just guessing off the top of my head. This is when Nike basketball was at its prime, bro. At its prime. Yeah, we got another one. Oh man, these, these I got a funny story with, but I'm, I'm gonna keep it short for y'all. These are the Raging Bulls, the OG ones though, that came with the countdown pack. As you can see, it got soul separation. It wasn't as bad, but I wore it. Like once I got it, I wore it the same day and then I wore it like the next few days in a row and I was like, damn, I can't wear it no more because it's crumbling. If you do soul swaps and you could do this for me, please let me know if you could fix this. We could work out a deal because I, I'm keeping these, bro. I need these. I don't even know what these are. These are dunks. Oh, Spartan Green dunks, bro. These are another shoot. Like, I traded for these, and I think I added some cash, and I don't regret it. I forgot what I gave up for these. I think everybody should have this type of green in their collection, especially if you like a sneakerhead or you just like fashion. You need this type of green in your collection, and this is a versatile color right here. You can wear this with a lot. And again, I have not worn these yet because I don't have nowhere to go. So, Boy, if you don't get... Ooh, these are one of my favorite pickups of the year. Soul Shoe Status. Another one by my boy James Whitner, bro. Another body bag. Look at the details on the box, bro. See how in detail. And the theme with this was around like school lunch and free lunch. And this edition that I have is the strawberry milk one. I didn't get the chocolate one because I was, honestly, I wasn't too pressed for it. And I was lazy on going to sign for a rapper. You can even see they even added details in the tissue paper. It's a school calendar. They went crazy with this, bro. Look at the, look at these, bro. Like, look at the level of detail in this. And it comes with like a little pouch. Um, It kind of looks like you could put like your wallet in it. I mean, not, yeah, not your wallet. Like you could put your cards in here or something like that. But look at the level of detail on these sneakers, bro. Kind of like a tumbled soft leather on the back. Jewel swoosh. I don't know if y'all could really see it. Like, bro. It's, I be trying so hard not to pop it. I get caught up pressing it because it's just so, because I'm a child. <laughs> Cushiony, bro. Then the rope laces. I love the rope laces. I think they're perfect. These shoes are it, bro. It's so much hidden details in these that makes them fire. Even on the tag, it's supposed to be like a lunchtime tick. I know all my broke minorities, we feel this one. These are a heavy hitter. Shout out to James Wooden. Shout out to Social Status for doing what it do on these shoes, for sure. These are the Jordan 11 Concords, but the 2000, what is it, 11 pair? I got from the same person I got the bread. These actually are wearable, but they don't have no sole separation. They got some stains on it, bro. It looked like blood or ketchup. It's some mysterious ass red substance, bro. <laughs> like, I don't know what's going on, but I'm gonna touch those up. I'm gonna get them right. I don't like any of the new 11s. They all look like moon shoes. They look like boots. They just look mad brawlers, bro. It's not for me. I'd rather the old classic. So if you got, I'm still looking for some Space Jam. Oh, I like that! You got that in a size nine? Slide in my DM or comment below, and I will take those off your hand peacefully, respectfully. A few shoes left. I'm gonna speed it up so my camera don't die. RIP to the goat, Virgil Abloh. I actually got these just before um, he passed away. He did a lot for fashion, specifically for minorities. I'm showing them that it is possible to accomplish these things and work with certain companies that might have been impossible before, or maybe not even a thought. He put that into the world, and I appreciate him for everything he's done for not only the sneaker culture but just the culture in general. So shout out to Virgil. These I love. I ended up getting a good deal on these. I traded a couple things for it. And I don't regret it. Bing bang. Y'all already know what these are. Let's get this for the camera. Die. Before the camera die. These are the Travis Scott Fragment Lows. I think they're personally better than the highs. Comment below what y'all think. Let me know. It got pink tissue paper with the Cactus Jack logo, the Jordan logo, the Fragment logo design. I also got a review on these, so I'll link that in the cards below and in the description if you want to check it out. These is beautiful. I'm not even a fan of Lows. My only dub on sneakers, on a sneaker drill, since I've had the sneakers at, bro. It had to be one. I'm glad it was this one, bro. This is definitely one of my top shoes of the year, easily. Which one y'all like better, the highs or the lows? I heard a lot of people packages was getting stolen by UPS and FedEx. I'm sorry that happened to y'all. 
comment below if that happened to you. You know somebody that happened. Karma gonna catch those people, so don't even worry about it. You, you about to come up crazy if that happened to you. Fortunately for me, I didn't go through that. Bow. Woo! These are the bread ones, patent leather. This is my grail shoe. Not specifically the patent leather ones, but just the bread one in general. I finally got it, bro. I was feeding for these so bad, I put these on feet the first day I got them, bro. Like, look how glossy these look. And I got a review on the channel for these. I'm gonna link that. Bro, I got y'all. I love them. They feel comfortable. I will say out of the other patent leather Jordan 1s, these definitely broke in the easiest. Like, I didn't have no uh, pain or the leather wasn't that stiff compared to the other one. So that I did like. I don't know if that's a good thing or bad. Like, if the materials is cheaper, but for sure, it's definitely a better feeling in general. And then they got that little hint of family on it inside. I don't know if y'all can see that. These is definitely a go-to. Another staple I feel you should have in your collection, whether it's this one or the original leather pair, definitely a go-to. And I'm gonna try to triple, quadruple up on these if I can. I wish all y'all luck on December 30th. And last but not least, the Travis Scott Mocha Jordan 1s, bro. Like, come on. What, what else I gotta say about these? Like, these, you can see all the laces. I still haven't worn these yet. These are beautiful. Let me put y'all on how I got these. I traded eight pairs the dead stock size nine. I would have preferred the size eight and a half, even though I am a nine. Bro, I got a story about how I bought. Like when the Travis, when these first came out, I got caught up and ended up buying a fake pair, bro. The only ever time I ever got got. And got. Yeah, and it was my fault, bro. So if y'all want to hear that story time, I could put y'all on. It's it's really it's really nothing too crazy. It was just me being stupid. Like I could have avoided that whole situation. But tip of the day: bro. if you cannot see the sneaker, do not pay for it, bro. Yeah, that was my 2021 pickups. I hope, hope y'all had a good 2021. I hope y'all also. Hell no. I hope y'all added a lot of heat to y'all stash. Make sure you comment below. Let me know what you added or let me know what you're gonna add. And if you missed out on some stuff that you plan on getting in 2022, I know my 2022 ups is gonna be drastically different just because of where I see myself being. But that, that's a different conversation. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram for new content. And I'm gonna see y'all in the next one.